Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Professor Williams, and I've been asked to continue with some videos on mini tabs. So we're going to call this mini tab lesson two, descriptive statistics. I'm going to show you how mini tab can help you calculate some basic um, descriptive statistics. So as you can see, I've got mini tab open on my computer. This is actually mini tab version 18. Um, they, they all basically work the same. And you'll notice that I have no data. So I'm going to go and import an Excel file, which is something you all will do pretty often. So I'm going to go to open, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and that's where I have this Excel file, chicken weight data, saved. And so I'm simply going to open that file. Now, because it's an Excel file, Minitab wants to know a couple things. It wants to know which row do you want to start with and how far down do you want Minitab to import. Well, I have um, one column of column names, and then I have, see here, 50 observations. So I want it to give me from 1 to 51. It's important to make sure that if your columns have names, which they should, make sure that you check this box so that you don't end up with a formatting issue um, somewhere down the pike. The other thing Minitab wants to do is it wants to verify that it has read your data correctly. So we know weight is a numeric value, and I have a choice between formatting it as numeric data, text, or date and time. So numeric is correct. This type of feed is text, so text is correct. And then the number of months each of these chickens was fed this particular feed is also numeric. So once you've verified your formatting for your variables, now you want to just say, OK. Minitab is going to ask you one more time. It's going to say, hey, a copy of the content of the file is going to be added to the current project which is, of course, what we wanted to do today, but it's just a uh, kind of warning in case you're working with a large project um, to know that this is now going to be part of that project. So I'm going to say, OK, Minitab thinks for a, for a second or two, and it gives me all 50 of my observations. So just a word about column headings. You'll notice that C1 is weight. C3 is months, but look at C2. Where the heck did that T come from? Well, because these observations are all in text, right? They're non-numeric qualitative um, variables. Minitab lets you know that this column is formatted with the data in text. So now that I'm sure that I've got everything going my way, what if I just want to calculate the average weight? If I only want to calculate one thing, then I'm going to come up to the calc, short for calculator, and I'm going to say column statistics. So when I look at that, it gives me some a pretty good variety, but still kind of a, a short menu. And I say, well, I want the mean of weight. So I've got mean clicked, but input variable is empty and there's nothing over here to select. You need to take your cursor, put it right there where it says input variable. Boom. There are two numeric um, variables <clears throat> that qualify for a column statistics calculation. So remember I said I wanted to use weight, so I'm just going to click on it and highlight it. I'm going to hit select. And I'm pretty happy with that, and I'm just going to say OK. And now what Minitab tells me is the mean of weight is 222.76 grams. So that function works awesome if all you're looking to do is just do one, um, calculate one statistic for one variable. But if we want to do something more comprehensive, then we're going to use this stat menu, short for statistics. When I click stats, I just want basic statistics. And what I want it to do is I want it to 
display um, my descriptive statistics in my session window. So I select display and you'll see that Minitab has remembered that weight and months are both um, numeric variables and so this time I'm going to use months. So I'm going to take months and I'm going to hit select and now what I need to do is I need to tell Minitab what statistics do I actually want it to calculate. So I'm going to go to statistics and Wow. I mean, it, it's pretty much everything. Everything that you could, almost everything you could possibly calculate. So I'm going to calculate the mean, the standard deviation, uh, Q1, Q2, Q3. Um, I don't think I want minimum and maximum, but I'd like to know the range, and I'd like to know if my data has, any, has a mode. So whatever you click, you could click on all of them if you wanted to, um, but... I'm just going to grab these. And so now I'm going to hit OK because I've told Minitab what I want it to do. And now I hit OK. And it thinks for a second. And now what we have is Minitab has calculated everything we've asked for. Um, the number of observations and um, the number that we're missing, none. The mean standard deviation, there's my Q1, Q2, Q3, my range, it has two modes, right? um, and the N for my mode right, said that each one of these values, 12 and 14, each appeared nine times. It was not, not infinitely faster than your $5 Walmart calculator. So I hope that this helps. Um, I hope that you find it useful, and if you need additional help, um, leave it in the comment window, and I wish you the best of luck in your statistics career.